Hello everyone, this is Darius from the Shot Caller. I'm joined here by uh, Caesar Xerxes, who's on his throne, of course, uh, after another dirty jungle Carthus game that we've seen on the LEC stage. How does that make you feel playing Carthus jungle? To be fair, I feel a bit dirty because I've been abusing Carthus now for like a month and a half. And uh, not sure if you've seen it, but I've actually reached rank one in preseason <laughs> with Carthus with like 80% win rate. But uh, it's too fun. I just can't stop playing. It's too fun. It's uh, it's something to watch for sure. What what did you uh, did did your teammates internally flame you in like chat when you didn't get that kill on Sankok though? No, they were like, don't chase, don't chase, and I was like, I'm gonna get him. I'm gonna I'm going for him. I will not miss my Q. Process in missing like five Qs. I'm like, and I was like, okay, he goes away for now. But next time I'll, I'll get him with my ult. <laughs> He cannot dodge that one. Yeah, he cannot dodge that one. That's like a blue shell Mario Kart. You just yeah, good luck dodging that. It's a, it's a really unfair uh, to look at as well. I mean, <laughs> I do not want you. <laughs> Thank you, Caesar Zox. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, well, it was really interesting to see you uh, like the different play styles of of Carthus Jungle, uh, comparing yours to Jankos, for example, or Jankos, because. Uh, uh, early on, when you were um, ganking bot lane, you, you waited to make sure that the Ignite doesn't kill and then used your ult. And the Yankos would have just, no, I want the kill now. <laughs> like, no, 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 I'm not going to give the kill to anyone else. You know, it's a very different style. Well, I, I mean, it's normal because like, you want the kill. And I was actually looking for, uh, for the Ignite tick to go off. And as I was ulting, I was thinking, please, God, I hope Brown doesn't have the E because it, uh, it, it can actually block the, the Cardus ult. And I was like, Please, please don't have it. <laughs> and he didn't have, so I was happy. It was all good from there. So, okay, Splice 2019. Splice 2018 was like good in spring, not so good in summer, maybe. It's like, okay, you know, but. Yeah. Uh, I mean, during 2018, we actually had the good. Like, at the end of each season, we had the really good uh, results. For example, against um, in Spring Split, we had good results against G2, Fnatic. But. We had th this good results after we already lost in playoffs, so it was kind of wasted, you know? And um, again, in summer, when we were playing for Gauntlet, we were skimming uh, Fnatic, who was already qualified for Worlds. And um, I believe that in an interview, they said that we are going to be the third team qualifying for Worlds. And I believe that as well, because like, in schemes, we were so, so good. Like, it, it was like we were another team. And then, uh, and then on stage, that's where the problem Happen and I think it was like a close 3 2, no? Like, uh, so. yeah, from what I remember, it was 3 2 against G2. Yeah, but um, yeah, we had like a lot of mistakes during the game and just not flashing for certain kills. And I, it would always haunt me when Niski didn't f had flash up and didn't and um, does not flash for uh, uh, for Jankos Olaf. Then, oh, then Jankos proceeds in going from all the way from top with like. 100 HP, 200 HP, goes bot lane, takes the plant, and double kills my bot. And I was like, oh. <laughs> but yeah, it's in the past. It's in the past now. You, you can't change it, but uh, it's it's going to haunt you, I'm afraid, in, in some of the nightmares. Yeah, I mean, right now I'm fine. I've gotten over it, but um, at that time, it, it kind of sticks with you for a few weeks. Yeah, I mean, I, c I can imagine, honestly, if like, that's a, a really yeah, core. A decisive game, because that, that game was really close. Like, yeah. we were actually winning the early game. Well, it's fine. Okay, I, I, I remember doing, uh, like, I, I was actually at the Splice office. I don't, I don't know who said it, but, like, you guys were, like, uh, or some of them, someone was, like, oh, yeah, G2, we, we, we don't even need to care about that much uh, about them. They're only playing World of Warcraft, <laughs> not, like, the new expansion and I stuff. Mean, uh, kind <laughs> and of. And then they went to Worlds and got to semifinals. So maybe World of Warcraft is the answer to everything. Well, obviously, they deserve to go to Worlds, and they, they did really, really great. Yeah. But uh, we... At that time, G2 didn't have good results in schemes yeah. against other teams, and we thought we were just going to win. Unlucky. But what is Splice 2019 going to achieve? Are you guys going to go to, like, going to get top three and go to Rift Rivals again? What's, what are, like, the goals? Well, like, my, name, my minimum goal would be playoffs. Mm. And uh, obviously, I'm, I, I'm always aiming for, uh, to go as high as possible. But um, if, it, if, you know, if it doesn't happen for whatever reason, then... I will just take this as a learning experience and does that. That's always the best lesson to take it from there. But like, uh, w w what do you think of Humanoid? I think he's a really talented rookie. 
And uh, what I've noticed is that he has a really doesn't care attitude, kind of. Mm -hmm. Like the guy goes on stage, plays like really comfortable, you know, on his first games. And that's actually, that's really impressive for a rookie because most of them, and myself included, when I was a rookie, I had uh, tablets, like problems, you know, like not play, be, not being confident myself on the stage. Yeah, stage and one. he just doesn't care. <laughs> that's so impressive. He just, he's a cold person, doesn't give up. Yeah. <laughs> He's a machine, man. Somebody like yeah. rip off the skin, it's a Terminator. Yeah, I, I even made a tweet about how how, imp how impressed I was by him. That's that's good to hear for sure and helpful in, in many situations. I always wonder, like we, we have, for, well, for example, Jizuka, right? Yeah. Like Jizuka came into the league, was like screaming and shouting, being happy and everything, and, like super emotional. And then on the other end of the spectrum, we have like a uh, uh, humanoid who's like, kill just, everything, just cold, just play. Murder. It's like the, those two core differences. And I sometimes wonder, you know, like, is there a right way to, to play? Is there like a right attitude? Is there not, you know? I think it just depends on the person. Like, whatever works best for, for everyone. You've played with Caps when uh, you guys were in Turkey. So... Best time of my life. <laughs> when, uh, when, when you played with Caps uh, and now you, you're playing with Humanoid, like... And, and humanoid as a rookie as well. Uh, do you see, hey, this guy has even more potential or the same potential as Caps or, you, you know, like what, what do you see in him? Well, it's hard to tell because I played with Caps like four years ago and back then he wasn't as good as he is now, yeah. obviously. But uh, I remember in skips during that time, Caps was just solo killing the enemy Milliner level two with Mazahar. And I was like, what's happening? How can you kill with Mazahar? But... Um, I, I think Humanoid is like really impressive as well. And uh, I see pot a lot of potential in him as well. So uh, right now it's just a matter of time until he, he gets even more used to the state. But then again, he, he doesn't really care. So <laughs> yeah. So what, what, what do you guys do in order to uh, improve him as a player? Kind of? Well, it's not like we improve him like individually. We have to improve as a team. So, you know, you play, we play games and uh, we review the mistakes. And the most important thing is how we communicate. Uh, I think that's the most important thing, how, like, everyone needs to give their input. You know, like, my lane is freezing, I need help, like, all that stuff. And uh, I think that's where we are at it right now. We're just trying to make everyone give their input into the game so we have as much info as possible to work around. Was it difficult at the start, given that you guys have three new players? Well... Both for you and Kaba. No, not really, because uh, Chachi is an experienced player and I played with him in the past, so it was really easy to to adjust. Yeah. And uh, Tore has played uh, already in, in LCS. <laughs> uh, so, no, I think it was only like Humanoid who I was a bit worried because obviously he's a rookie and I didn't know how he would be on the stage, but he handled it pretty well. So no complaints from your side? No, I'm really happy. Why, what, what, what is there then to say why aren't you guys going to win the split then? Well, I'm looking at G2 roster and uh, I have my doubts. <laughs> Maybe not win the split, but second, third place, I'm, I'm happy with it. Yeah, I mean, it's nice to hear that kind of Yeah, obviously, I want to compete with G2, but uh, right now, because they've been playing together for, you know, like for a year, and um, Polix is a really talented player, and he already looks really solid on... on on AD, uh, yeah, it's just gonna be hard because they have five talented players. So we just need our time to get that team more going. Yeah, and then uh, in uh, uh, Smurf and draft, and uh, maybe yeah, just out draft them. <laughs> easy. Just out draft you too easy. The the teams that uh, the team yeah, that out draft. Twenty champions. Yeah. yeah the, the team that where everyone can play twenty champions and they can roll stuff internally, everything, and they also are drafted RNG. You know, it's fine. It's fine. We we can out draft them. Draft kingdom here. <laughs> woo, woo! Happy with the coaching staff as well. I take it. Yeah, um, I think our it's the best coaching staff I've worked with, and uh, they are making a really good job of making everyone understand the game, and uh, I have no complaints for them. I mean, you've worked with two LCS coaching staff, so that's, you know, kind of like... Yeah, I mean, I guess I don't have much experience, but I really enjoy being with them, so... Right, fair. So that's fair. what matters, right? Fair. That's what matters. And at the end of the day, results matter as well, and you guys are 2-1, and one, uh, and we'll see about tomorrow, of course. Uh, excited about that one. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm hopeful that we can get the win tomorrow as well.
I mean, everyone always says that. I mean, yeah, nobody's gonna believe. Ah, tomorrow we're gonna lose. Ah, yeah, unless it's true. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that. Yeah. <laughs> um, anything you want to say to the Splice fans? Uh, just uh, thanks for believing in us and uh, hoping for a better year than the previous one. Which would be a very, very strong one for sure. Um, and a hashtag, of course. Hashtag on the hunt. That's the normal one. Come on, no, no, like standard splice win on the hunt, you know. I'm sorry, I'm I'm employed by splice, so I will stick with on the hunt. <laughs> okay, hashtag on the hunt. On the hunt. On the hunt. Okay, right, fine. Thank you, Tex, <laughs> for your time. This was Darius on the short caller. I hope you have a good day. See you guys then. Bye bye. We'd especially like to thank Christoph Butchnevich, Etienne, Thomas Göttel, Dominik Bolze, Lazy Raven, Erich Althaus, and Macic for your support, and of course all the other people whose names you see scrolling past you on the screen right now. Without you, our work wouldn't be possible. Thank you.